Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, March the 19th. Today, we celebrate St. Joseph, and it is the fifth week in Lent. The scripture for this service, Psalm 137, and 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13 to 18. Please join me in chanting verse 5 of Psalm 95. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall never enter into my rest. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, and we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. Psalm 137, and please recite it with me. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows there. For it was there that our captors told us to sing a song. They that oppressed us required of us joy, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing God's songs in a strange land? If I should forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I do not prefer Jerusalem above all my joys. Remember, O God, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Tear it down. Tear it down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy are they that reward you as you deserve. Happy are they that take and dash your little ones against the stones. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. But just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with the scripture, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away. Our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, we are desolate apart from you, for it is only in you that we find our joy. Make haste to visit us and bring your dominion to all the world and all its peoples. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.